Hey there guys, Jason here from Off The Beaten Path and I uh, thought I'd just make this quick video about one of the things that people that see my vehicle actually ask me about the most which is this rear bar set up here um, and this, uh, as you can see there, was built by Razzler down in Melbourne. Um, <clears throat> so I guess one of the questions, um, let me try and run through why, why I got this bar, a um, little bit about it, what I like about it, um, maybe maybe some small areas for improvement for me um, and uh, just a bit of a general rundown but look overall this is awesome it's one of my favorite things that I've added to the car so um, to start with I guess some um, why and there were two main reasons so when I first got this car I had a Bushkins kit fitted um, with front bash plate um, sump and transfer case protection and I also had the Bushkins rear bar uh, because anyone that knows Pajeros knows that the rear plastic bar is, is a really good sand scoop or mud scoop um, and it kind of hangs down low so the Bushkins bar did a, did a great job um, that being said I still managed to dent both the rear um, back corners of the car even with the Bushkins bar on uh, So that was one of the main reasons that I upgraded from that to this. And look, the two products are not at all comparable. I mean, the Bushkins is a DIY bolt-on product um, that's really easy to install, costs less than a thousand bucks, um, and for what it is, does a fantastic job and um, really solves a bit of a problem with the Pajeros, in my opinion. Um, you know, this bar is is quite a bit more than that um, from memory somewhere between four and five thousand when it was all done so you know chalk and cheese um, so that was one reason the other reason was the spare tire um, so I run slightly oversized all-terrain tires um, and for those that know the Geros you know that the rear tire mounts on the rear door and that there's a little scallop um, at least on these later model ones in the um, tread sort of on the top of the rear bar to fit the tire so you really can't fit anything larger than a standard tire so for a while there I was running four oversized all-terrains and I had a standard size road tire spare which you know was pretty risky um, now look I know you can get um, you know brackets and things that'll lift the, the mounting height of the spare tire up um, but I guess um, you know if that was my only issue I probably would have would have gone down that road um, so that were the main reasons that I that I got this bar um, was the spare tire and also being able to carry some additional fuel I haven't yet gone to a long-range fuel tank so the extra 20 liters in the Jerry here is uh, really helpful and a bit of an insurance policy and carrying 20 liters of water with the tap sticking out the end here so let me run you through some of the design features of this bar and some of the things I really love about it. Okay, so first of all, the rear design from Razlar is pretty standard across all the vehicles they fit these to. As you can see, this bar has had a lot of use. I've, I've definitely used it for the job it was intended for, which is protecting the back end. Um, so let's, uh, let's start. So straight away, one of the things I really love is the jerry can holder here they've they've got this cut out on the end so you know straight straight away you can fit a jerry can with a tap in to have some drinking water wash your hands whatever that's a really good feature the bar actually wraps all the way around the side as you can see the uh, pajero gets a fair bit of use um, that damage there at the top is uh, from a little side trip into the Cobor state forest which um, yeah let's just say I learned this is probably not the vehicle to take there and it's uh, probably not the place to go solo either so looking across the bottom you can see apart from the, the scratch marks there you can see those little indentations they're actually high lift jack points um, and then the uh, tow bar mount there another high lift jack point and the bar wraps all the way around this side <coughs> So there's the back of the car with both sides open. One of the things I, I should mention as well is that I'm not sure Razzla are actually making these for Pajeros at the current time anymore. Um, there's quite a lot of work 
Um, again, those of you that know Pajeros know that that whole back side is, is covered in plastic normally. So one of the first things that they have to do is, is spend nearly a day um, actually pulling all the plastic off and plugging all those holes with screws. You can see here where the door handle is on the Gen 4. They've actually fabbed up a bit of sheet metal to finish that off so that your door handle works as you would expect and it's all still nicely enclosed. So the other thing I love about this is that really solid flat platform there to stand on. Um, you know, for those of you that have seen me in the videos, I'm not a small guy, I'm pretty heavy. Um, tipping the scales at about 150 kilos these days. Um, so the, the plastic rear bar with a little bit of sheet metal under it really didn't uh, cut it in terms of uh, holding me up to be able to reach up onto the reef racks there. So that's, that's another feature that I really love with this. Um, so going on to a few other things. So this Pajero is a GLS, which means it came standard with uh, reversing sensors. Uh, you can see those holes there in the rear bar. That's where the reversing sensors used to be. So when I was getting this fitted down at Razzler, they asked me, did I want the reversing sensors? They kind of recommended against it, um, but they were on there from factory. And so I said, yes, please. Um, well, for those of you with sharp eyes that, you know, can see a little bit of a defect there near that white light the reversing light um, that's not from Razzlar that's from me getting that bar repaired after twisting it on some rocks down at Cobar so so rest assured um, the Razzlar workmanship is uh, top-notch so yeah they recommended against it um, I did get them fitted um, what I found was they didn't sit in there all that well corrugations tended to vibrate them out and um, bog holes and water crossings tended to pull the wiring loose if the sensors weren't shaken out. So that's probably um, the main thing in the end of just uh, cut the wires, pull them out, and um, yeah, don't, don't have the reversing sensors anymore. Um, another thing to note, I guess, is that the reversing camera used to be mounted on the outside of the plastic for the spare wheel and uh, as you can see it's now mounted there on the door so you've got a reduced view between the jerry can holder and the tire for me that's not a big deal the main thing i like to have that for is for hooking up the camper trailer and um, it's it's got a great view for that um, so in terms of is there anything that i would change about this bar it, it's it's hard because everything is a compromise um you know there's there's things I would like to see done differently, but uh, they would add weight, they would add cost, and how much benefit would they really add? And I think that's why the Razzler guys have arrived at the design that they've got. Um, so let me try and illustrate what I'm talking about. As we look under here, you can see the bar actually ends pretty much in a in a straight line there. Um, so what I have found is going over rock steps, uh, sometimes it'll get caught, sometimes it hits, uh, just like there. But over this right-hand side over here, that's exactly what happened there. That lip that you're looking at just here, um, that, the back side of that caught on a rock down in Cobor State Forest and twisted and bent the whole thing out. So, you know, if that could be finished you know, round it off and a little bit more protection up in under here, that would be great. Um, but yeah, that would, of course, add weight. And uh, for me anyway, I'm already pretty close to GV. Hey there guys, so I just wanted to make one small addition to this video about the rear bar. Because one thing that I have changed is, um, I'm not sure if you can see it there, Just here is uh, the plate that was put in and that was the original mounting point for the trailer plug and uh, Anderson plug as well for my camper trailer. And being right at the back there they were nice and accessible. 
but the biggest issue was I kept smashing them going off rock steps. So what we ended up doing is mounting them up in there. So on the, uh, just welded an extra piece on, um, and you can see that's the, the trailer plug on the left and the Edison plug on the right. And they're a lot more protected up in there. So look, I hope this video has been informative um, and um, shows you a little bit about the setup that I have on the rear of the Pajero here. Um, overall, look, I love this Razzler bar. It's awesome, really good quality, really solid. Has saved the car from damage more times than I care to count. So as far as I'm concerned, the thing's paid for itself um, and I've had it about two years already. So thanks so, as always for watching everybody. And uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, in terms of whether Razzler are making these for Gen 4s or will make one, you'll, you'll have to ask the guys there. There's a lot of work in these because of Pajero's all being made slightly differently depending on whether you've got the GLS, the GLX, the Exceed, rear air conditioning, not rear air conditioning, rear seats, not rear seats. Everyone is pretty much different. So because of that, um, you know, whereas other vehicles, they can make them up and they bolt straight on. Um, I think that's probably one of the main reasons, just that there is so much work in these. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, like it if you liked it, um, and love it if you subscribe to the channel, really appreciate that. Have a great day, thanks.